everybody and welcome back to my channel. So this video is totally different from anything I've ever done before, but one of my friends here on YouTube, Melissa Honeybee Philosophy, her name is great by the way, Melissa, Melissa. <laughs> She posted this video in a collaboration with a bunch of other girls here on YouTube and I was like, oh my gosh, I want in on the fun. Plus, it's a really good idea. So basically, this is Project Pan, but it's like a year-long Project Pan. So if you guys don't know what Project Pan is, it is focusing on using up what you already have before you buy more products. I'm not going to go that far because I do have a makeup channel and I do want to test out new products for you guys. Plus, let's get real, I cannot control, like, I cannot control myself when new products come out. Spring is right around the corner, all the new stuff's going to come out, so I'm not going to limit myself to not buying anything else because I want to make sure I have the newest, greatest, latest stuff to test out for you guys. But I do want to really, really focus on, like, finishing up what I already have this year. So, usually I'll go, like, powder, for example, face powder. I will bounce from powder to powder to powder to powder, and I, like, never finish them up. So this year, I really want to focus on, like, finishing up products that I already have. Does that make sense? Plus, on top of that, I, this year, like, I'm putting myself on a little bit more of, like, a strict budget. I mean, I, I'm still going to buy stuff, like I said before, but anyways, in this box right here, I have all of the products that I really want to focus on finishing up this year. If I finish it up, great. If I don't, that's okay, too. But my goal is to finish up all of these products here in my box. Okay, so let's hop in and let me show you what is on my list for Project Pan. 2016. Okay, so let's start with face products. I have two foundations that I feel like I have been using forever and they just will not go away. And not that they're not great foundations, but I have like two or three brand new foundations in my Alex 9 drawers that I really want to dig into, but I don't want to dig into them until I finish this. So both of these are Laura Mercier. The first one is the Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid Foundation. That is a mouthful of Fs. So this is what I have been wearing every single day. I like it, but I don't love it. It kind of settles into my fine lines and like right around my nose towards the end of the day, it like really, really wears away. So I really want to finish this up this year. And the second one is the foundation that I wear when I'm filming. This is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. I'm wearing it today but you only need like a little tiny pea-sized amount of this stuff and it covers your entire face and your entire neck. So it's been taking forever for me to finish this. I love it, but I wanna finish it up because I feel like it's gonna go bad soon. I have two primers that I wanna use this year. The first one is going to be no problem. I know I'm gonna finish it because I love this primer. This is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I love this stuff. I use it almost every day. It really helps to mattify my skin, but just like foundations, I have a whole bunch of primers up there that I want to dig into, but I don't want to dig into them until I finish these two right here. So I want to get this one out of the way so I can start using other stuff, like try new stuff. This one is great though. It has a little pump on it and it's amazing. The second one is going to be a lot harder for me to finish because it's not my favorite. And I say that because I have really oily skin in the summertime, and this is not really that great for oily skinned girls. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Everybody loves this stuff. Like, it's, it's good on my dry parts of my skin, but my oily parts, oh, I turn into a grease puddle by the end of the day. So I think I'm going to finish or try to focus on finishing this in the wintertime, like right now. Um, that way I don't have to fuss with it in the summertime. I have one concealer. I actually do not have that many concealers like on back stock. I do have a few, but this concealer, um, I know I'm going to finish it up. It's going to be no problem at all. It's just a matter of making sure that I use this. Actually, you know what? I have two concealers. I lied. So this is the Naked Skin, Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Concealer. I love this so much, but it's brand spanking new. I just, just opened it. So I want to finish this up this year. And then the second one is kind of a concealer, but it's a prep and prime. So this is the MAC Prep and Prime in the color Radiant Rose. This is something that every time I use it, I love it. 
I love it so much. I wore it today and I was like, oh my gosh, I miss that. It's basically like a highlighting pen. The thing is, I forget about it. I forget that I have it and then I forget to use it. So this I really want to use and finish up this year. I have one eyeshadow primer. This is the MAC Paint Pot in the color Vintage Selection. I really, really like this, but it's about two or three years old, and I can feel it getting um, to the point where it's drying out, and I don't want that to happen. I don't want to waste the product, so I really want to finish this up. I like to use this on days when I don't wear any eyeshadow, and like this is the only thing on my eyes, because it has a little bit of a sheen to it, so it's really just a matter of making sure that I use it, so I need to put this in my drawer down here so I use it. Then I have one eyeshadow. This is something that I've had probably for five years and I'm milking it because this is my favorite eyeshadow of all time and in my mind I have this weird thing where like I, I feel like products are going to be discontinued and then I'm never going to get my hands on it again and I need to get over that phobia and I need to just use the product up. Stop babying it. So this is Urban Decay's Sin Eyeshadow. You can see it's almost gone. I've hit pan. There's only a tiny bit left around the ring. I just need to finish it up. Next up, I have two face powders and a bronzer. So these two face powders, I love them. I love them so much, but the thing is, I have others that I love too that I want to use also and I'm sure new stuff is going to come out that I'm going to want to try also. So the first thing is the NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Powder. This I feel like I've had forever and it hit pan. You can see it's almost gone but this last little bit is like so stinking hard to finish. So I've been using this every day to set my under eyes um, because it works really well for that but like I just just want to get rid of that. I'm just, I'm done. I'm done with it. And then the next thing is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the color Medium Plus. This is another thing that I love. I love this setting powder, but I have others that I love too, you know? It's just, it's such a battle. So this I've had forever and ever and ever, and I found it in my drawer up here like just a couple of days ago, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to use that. You can tell it's old. It's in the old packaging. So I just want to finish this up and like move on to my other face powders. The bronzer that I have is my favorite and I'm going to have no problem finishing this but I want to finish it because I want to move on to other things. Try new things. I have so many bronzers that I just I neglect because I'm constantly going back to this. So this is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. You can see I've hit pan. It's almost gone. It is my favorite. I love it so much but I want to show some love to my other bronzers, you know? Next thing is a blush, and this stuff, I swear to you, it's like magic. I thought I was going to run out of this, like, January of last year, and it just won't go away. And I, I'm okay with that because this is my favorite blush, but I already have a backup, and the backup has been sitting in my drawer unused because this won't, I, it won't go away. It's like, it's like magic blush. So this is the Tarte's Amazonian Clay Blush in the color Exposed. You can see I've hit pan. There's just a tiny bit left around the rim here, but like, I, every time I think it's gone and it's going to run out, like, it doesn't run out, so I want to finish this this year. Last face product is a setting spray. So this is the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray. This stuff is another thing that I've had for like over a year and I just, I forget to use it. So now that I have this nice new vanity, I'm gonna set it like right here. So that way like I remember to use it every single day and like I will finish it up. Another thing that I have a humongous stockpile of in my drawer over here is mascara. And mascara is something that I don't like to have too many of them open at the same time because they dry out really, really fast. So my goal this year is to go through at least three mascaras. I know I'm going to go through more than that because I like to rotate or replace my mascara every two to three months. So I know I'm going to use more than three, but my goal is three. And one of those three is the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara. This is just what I'm using right now, so I want to use this one up first. And I don't know what the other two are going to be, but I want to use up at least three this year. Same thing with eyebrow products. I have so many eyebrow products in here. Like, let me show you guys. So I don't know how well you can see or if you can even see at all, but I have a container right here that is completely full of eyebrow products. 
And then I have a container back here that is completely full of mascara. So it's like, I need to use that stuff up. So I want to go through three eyebrow products also. One of those being the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is my favorite. This is just what I happen to be using right now. So I know I'm going to finish it, but I also want to finish two more. Next up, I have eyeliner. I don't know why I said that. So weird. Eyeliner. I have four of them right here. Eyeliner is something that I used to stockpile and I used to be obsessed with and I used to just have a ton of eyeliner. I recently got rid of a whole bunch of them. I gave them away and I sold some, but I still have so many eyeliners. So I want to get rid of at least four of them. These are the four that I have right here. The first one is something that I've been babying. Again, I baby stuff because I I don't want to run out of it, like I want to hoard it forever. This is the Mally Beauty Eyeliner, and I love this. I love it. It was in my top fives. It's one of my favorites, but it's time for it to go. It's just, I've had it for too long. It's time for it to go. The second one is one that also I love, 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 and I already have a backup of it, so it's like, okay, let's finish it up, Melissa. This is the Ardency In um, Monster Eyeliner in the color Coffee. It's their brown one. This one I know I'll go through very quickly because I use it almost every day. Next one is one that I've used a fair amount of. I mean, there's only a little bit left. This is the YSL, I guess it's just their eyeliner. Um, the thing with this is it's a black eyeliner and it is like a true black eyeliner. I'm wearing it today, but this is something like I don't like to wear jet black eyeliner on a daily basis because sometimes it's just a little bit too harsh, you know? So I think I'm gonna have to focus on using the um, either on special occasions or at nighttime or when I'm filming, things like that. And then the last one is Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This is one that also is like magic and when I feel like it's gone, it's not gone and it keeps working. So I really want to use this. It's a liquid one though, which I don't use liquid liner very often, but I do use it when I use falsies, like to kind of fill in the dots and outline my falsies. So I really want to get rid of this this year. Last product and... Yep, last product is a lip balm. This is my EOS lip balm, and this is the one that, what scent is it? I think it's coconut something, but I keep this in my daily drawer down there, and I use it pretty much every day, but I have so many of these little EOS lip balms that like, and they, they last forever, lip balm lasts forever, but I want to use at least one this year, like at least one I want to finish up. So this is the one that I want to finish up this year. All right, guys. Well, those are the products that I want to finish up this year. This is my Project Pan 2016. I know I'm going to use more products than this. Uh, yeah, I hope I'm going to use more products than this, but this is like what I want to focus on and start with for now. So yeah, I hope that you guys like this. If you want to see, like if you want to see what I've used up, watch my empties videos. I post those about once every two months. So watch my aunties videos, there you will see what I've used up, and then maybe if I remember I'll film like an end of year update, like at the end of 2016, so you can see how I did. Alright guys, well that is all for today, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next video, bye!